So I'm Jake Elwes. Um, I'm an artist based in London, and I guess I come from a fairly traditional art background. I studied art at the Slade at UCL, um, and then became really interested in using machine learning techniques in my work. I was talking about um, some of the work that I've produced in the last five years, um, starting with a collaboration, Auto Encoded Buddha, um, that I produced with another artist called Roland Arnold, and it was a it was a reference to Namjoon Pike's um, TV Buddha piece, where the Buddha was staring at a reflection of itself through a camera, and we had a um, DC GAN generating images of the Buddha, which it failed to do, which we found quite exciting. I showed my piece Dada Data, um, which is quite fun. It's a super cut of 90 hours worth of the most influential figures in technology, um, who are all white men in America. And I just got them speaking in numbers. So you get like Elon Musk saying 500 million, thousand, billion, billion, trillion, five, five. And Zuckerberg saying 2009 billion, trillion, Yes, and then a couple of my newer pieces, so Closed Loop, which has recently been collected by the ZKM, um, which is a conversation between two different neural networks, one which has been trained to generate sentences, caption images, and generate sentences from what it sees in images, and the other one which has learnt to generate images from sentences which are input. Um, and they have a conversation back and forth. And it constantly branches off and does unexpected things. And I guess for me, it brings up a lot of questions of agency and authorship and the role of the artist when using these algorithms. Finally, I showed my most recent piece called Cusp, um, which is, which is a, a video where I was taking artificially generated birds, which are all kind of interspecies birds. Um, it was trained on a data set of birds from the marshland that I went to, um, which I had a deep affinity with, because it was a landscape that I'd been going to since I was a child. And I went out into this oozing black mud, placing this screen, and then hoping to get the birds interacting with the artificial birds. I'm quite interested in, in not, not just demonstrating the technology. Um, and I think, you know, that's a sort of constant battle and fight that you can have if you're always trying to use the cutting edge technology and actually trying to step back from that and find something a bit more poetic and conceptual to say with it. Um, so yeah, that could just be quite a simple piece, but I think, yes, using these algorithms that exist and, and thinking about them in different ways to how the engineers originally intended for them to be used. Um, but yeah, I'm still, I'm still working that one out. It's been a lot of fun. I think it was really exciting to see all the different speakers because I think everyone's coming from such different perspectives and a mixture of critical theory and, you know, coming more from the tech side or coming more from the theory side. Um, and yeah, no, just, just exciting to see the different perspectives, I think.